Okay, so here we have an open Moby project with data sets from a marine worm called Platinaris dumerilli. Here we show a 3D electron microscopy volume with a cell segmentation overlaid on top. So each color here is one individual segmented cell. If I scroll through in Z, you can see how they're all arranged in 3D. And if I zoom in, you can see more of the details of those cells. So let's say that you wanted to be able to sort these individual cells into different cell types. One way you could do that is with the annotation mode that's within Moby. The annotation mode lets you label individual segmented objects as belonging to different categories. So in our case, what we would do is we would go back to the table, click annotate, start new annotation, and then give a name for the column that's going to hold our annotations. We'll just call it cell. That'll then open this window to make our categories. So we want one category for neurons. We just click to create that category. And we want another one for muscles. And again, we click to create the category. And now if we go back to that table and scroll all the way to the right, we see it's made that new column for our annotations and everything currently is assigned none. And that's because we haven't started the annotations yet. So let's annotate some cells. So we can just go into the viewer and select an individual cell. So if we zoom in, we can see that this is a neuron. It's quite a round cell. The nucleus fills most of the cell as well. And we're in the head region of the platinaris, so it makes sense for it to be a neuron. So we can just click the neuron button and we see that it gets assigned the right color. Now, if we want to assign lots of neurons in one go, we can click on multiple different neurons and then click the neuron button and everything gets assigned in one go. So that's a quick way to do more. So if we scroll to another part of the data set, we see we have a different cell type here. If I scroll through in Z, you can see it's a very long cell, quite a thin cell. So we see these black spots inside, which are the individual fibers. So this is a muscle cell. And once we're satisfied it's a muscle cell, we can click the muscle button to assign it as a muscle. Again, we can assign lots of cells in one go by selecting a whole bunch of them and then clicking the muscle button to assign everything in one go. So let's assign a few more cells. We can click on another cell up here. And this one we see it's just a fragment. So this is because it's an automated segmentation and there are some errors inside. So let's select another one. This one looks more complete. And this one we can see because it's right under the surface of the platinaris, it is an epithelial cell. So once we're satisfied it's an epithelial cell, we can then type over here a new category, epithelia, and then click to create that new category. And then click that button, and we see it turns the right color. It gets assigned as epithelial cells. So now if we want to label more cells, we can keep on clicking in the viewer and then assigning as we've been doing so far. But say you want to be more methodical and really go line by line through the table, through every cell, and assign it. We can do that by using this select next button. So when you click that, it'll automatically go to the next cell. And then you can look at it and figure out what it is. In this case, it's another epithelial cell. So we can click the epithelial button and it gets assigned. We can also use this select previous button to go back to our previously selected cell. So in this way, we can really methodically go through and assign cells to different groups. So once you're happy with your annotations, you can click table and then save column as. Then you can select the label ID column and the column with your annotations and click OK. And then you have to find somewhere to save it and give it a name. So in this case, we're just going to call it mycellannotations.tsv for tab separated values. And that will save the table with all of your annotations. Now, if at a later time you want to carry on that annotation, you can then load that into your column by going table, load columns, load from file system, and then navigating to that file that you just saved. So here's that file here. We're not going to load it for now because we already have that column in the table, but that's how you would do it for reference. And once you'd reloaded that column, if you then wanted to continue the annotation, you'll go back to the table, click annotate, and then continue annotation, and then find the column, in this case, the cell column, and click OK. Again, we're going to cancel it for now because you already have the annotation mode open, but that is how you would reload an annotation to continue it. So that's a quick summary of the annotation modes. You can use it to assign your segmented objects to different categories, and then you can save that data and reload it whenever you want.